Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another Texas State Park. As you can see right up there. We have made it to South Llano River State Park. We have returned. We were here several years ago, different RV. Different trip, very convenient waypoint stop if you're traveling east or west on I-10. Took us a while to get here from Fort Stockton. There's nothing out there. I don't know what those folks out there in Fort Stockton do for an inter for entertainment. Anyway, we're here and we finally get to see some green again. We spent two and a half weeks in the desert. Let's talk about our site at South Llano River State Park. We're in a handicap site. It is a 30 amp site, as are all of the RV sites here. There are 47. And we're in site number, no, it's not more, yeah, 43. I think it's 47, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's, Maybe it's more than that. We'll find out. Anyway, 30 amp concrete pad, double wide. <laughs> we're high. We're in tall cotton now. We're in a double wide, double wide site. And you'll notice we have concrete sidewalks that go around. So if you rely on a, a chair with wheels, you can access the power and the water we're not, we're not too awfully far from the facilities, which are right there. And there's a sidewalk for access there. And the sidewalk continues on around there. I like this site. We didn't have to pull out any blocks, but I did have to raise the rear end up just a little bit. Use the hydraulics and manual. We have a wooden table covered with a wooden and sheet metal cover. We are, <laughs> we're gonna be camping in style. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook. We're good to go. Actually had someone from the state of Washington. We were camping in Franklin Mountains the other night and the fella next door to us was from the state of Washington. He said, what are those things for? <laughs> I said, that's the ubiquitous lantern hook. We have a place to burn some wood. We actually have firewood laid in, but I don't know if we're in a burn ban. I, I've, got to, I've got to ask around. Ground is kind of damp, so maybe not. We have a great view of the, the sky for Starlink. It's still waking up. We have AT&T through the modem on the, the motorhome, through the motorhome modem. Verizon, we don't have any connection. So for Yappy to be online, we have got to have either the chassis on or Starlink booted up. Look at these beautiful trees. Ha, I've been missing some good Texas trees. I'm gonna eat some lunch. We'll deploy the Valkyrie and we shall go see some South Llano River State Park stuff. That's a mouthful. Time for a shower check. Gotta get clean. A bench. In case you gotta wait, I guess. A handicapped shower. This has the upper knob. Not bad. I mean, it's not going to beat the skin off of you, but yeah, not bad. And it's clean. <laughs> In the event you couldn't hold it. There's restrooms. You're saved. <laughs> it's an outhouse. What does a Texas State Park outhouse look like? 
Well, that actually is a pretty nice Texas State Park outhouse. This, this is found in the walk-in tent camping area. It's super quiet here. The ringing in my ears is louder than anything else. There's a lot of walk-in tent sites. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Well, it would appear that there is no burn ban in effect while I'm visiting South Llano River State Park. And they actually have a firewood station donation. Five, what, six dollars a bundle. That's some good Texas hardwood too. All right, let's go find some more stuff. South Llano River State Park is all about the South Llano River. Is it Llano or Llano? L-L-A-N-O. Llano, Llano. That's private property, don't go there. So you can fish without a license in Texas State Park. So if you wanna come down here and fish, they will probably even loan you tackle up in the office. This is the tube, inner tube takeout point. Somewhere in this video, we're gonna see the inner tube put in point. So there is no lifeguard. Swim at your own risk. River bags for trash. That's the, yeah, that's a great idea right there. That's a pretty good flow of water. I was not expecting that much water. We've been in a drought, you know, and every, every place I've been in the hill country for the last several years has been way below where it should be. We'll leave it at that. So this is a day use area, a big parking lot. So you can come down here and go swimming and get in the water. Yep. That's what that is. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Let's go see some more stuff. So this bottom land of the South Llano River that we're in, this little river bottom, it's got a lot of pecan trees and this one is just really, really cool. You can see the pigs have been down here looking for pecans though because the pecans will be coming into season. Of course, it's been so dry, there's probably not too many pecans on the trees. Well, I don't see too many up there, but you can really see where the pigs have been tearing it up down here. I just think that's a cool picture. I hope you find it interesting as well. All right, let's go see a bridge. So if you wanna do some kayaking, Texas has a paddling trail network, and one of those paddling trails is the South Llano River Paddling Trail. It actually starts here, where we are, and it goes all the way to Shriner Park Access Point. Maybe, no, yes, yeah, it flows that way. I guess those are the put in and take out point. Okay. I promised you a bridge. On my on my previous visit to South Llano River State Park, we you had to go down to the low water crossing. Uh, they've since replaced that with a bridge. So you're no longer right down there on top of the water. And there's a really strong flow in the river. But it there's all the indications that there's been a lot of rain here recently. Of course, we weren't here, so I, I don't know. But now we know. Now you know. Even in, if the water gets up, you can get to the park. Because before, if it flooded, there was no going in or out. I couldn't resist. I had to come down below the bridge. So we could actually hear some water. Some hill country river water.
And I can go sleep to that. I completely missed this on my last visit to South Llano River State Park. So when you when you turn off the county road or the farm to market road, you you turn and you you make a kind of a U-turn, the way you make that turn. Well, if you were to to I'll have to show you when we get up by the by the sign. This is part of the state park. I didn't I didn't realize that last time I was here. It's actually a little a small lake, I guess, that was the result of the low water crossing. This looks like it would be a great place to do some fishing. Of course, you'd need a kayak. And I'm not sure where exactly you would put in. And you definitely got to watch out for fire ants because there are a lot of fire ants in this Bermuda grass. You want to watch out for rattlesnakes, water moccasins, and cottonmouths. This is their country too. Look at here. You could, you could just post up right here. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't need a boat. They actually have a couple of bird blinds. I didn't make it to this one last time. Didn't want to disturb her. One of the things that South Llano River State Park is well known for are the wild turkeys. They, they like that river bottom down where all those acorns are. I thought this was fascinating. I find a lot of things fascinating. This old mesquite tree, it's on its way out. You can tell because it's got the mistletoe growing. The, the cacti have just have taken up residence in there. Look like they're, they're struggling too. All right, we're up here at the headquarters. And this was the, the Buck family farm. And this was their, 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 their main house. And that's now the, the store and office where you get your camping permits. Close to my campsite, the acorn blind. I see some squirrels in there. Howdy. Howdy. I'm going to let you have it. I've been sitting here for over an hour. Well, what if I don't want it? Hmm? <laughs> what if I don't want it? Oh, you do. Oh, I'm just... I mean, I'm just documenting all this stuff in the park. Well, you just sit there for a little bit. You'll see all kinds of things. Awesome. Thank you. Pretty sure she didn't understand. I'm not going to sit here for an hour. I've got too many other places to go. But this is cool. I think I like this one better than the other one. Let's go see what else we can find. What you're looking at are pig tracks. All these pig tracks. We're headed to the turkey roost area. An oxbow lake. They're found in river river bottoms. Uh, and they are where so the river would have made a curve as it meanders along and then a big flood comes along and it cuts through and basically cuts off that body of water in that curve that becomes an oxbow lake this is an oxbow lake the south llano river at one point ran through here and then a flood came along and changed all that and this was became a landlocked oxbow lake it is called buck lake it's down here in the pecan bottoms and you can come down here and fish. Bring a kayak. 
it's called Buck Lake because the, the, the family that was ranching this land, farming this land, they were the Bucks. Now we're talking. Sarge, this is for you right here. Check this out. I bet there's some channel cat in here. Come on down, Sarge. Catch you a few. <laughs> All right. This, this is a fishing dock. This, this is the Oxbow Lake, Buck Lake. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we can find. I'm lost. Actually, I'm not lost. I just don't know where I am. I'm on the river trail. I came from that way. I've been heading that way. But I wanted to show this to you because I thought it was most interesting. The river has widened out, deepened, and slowed down. You can tell it hasn't been this high for all, in a while because there's a lot of brush stuff growing out there. They're not aquatic plants. They're just underwater. All right. Lots of deer and pig tracks. So we shall go see some more stuff. People really don't appreciate how bad the, the feral pig problem is for the environment as a whole. Not just, not just for humans, but for the ecosystem at large. And here's a really great example. These are the harvester ants. They go out and they collect, and you can see the, the pigs have come along and rooted up their fungus farm. And dug into probably after the, either the, the larvae, the ant larvae, or maybe even the fungi that they're cultivating. These guys are just doing their job, helping maintain nature. And along comes a bunch of pigs and ruin their little party. And this is not the only one I've seen on this. I'm kind of lost <laughs> bike ride. I don't have the harness, so I'm not I'm not showing you the ride. But the whole everywhere I go here in this river bottom, it's just pig sign everywhere. Good morning from South Leno River State Park. Junction, Texas. We really like this one. You will too. It's quiet. There's a lot of, lot of waypointers coming through here cause, cause we're just like 10 miles off of I-10. What better place to spend the night on your journey across Texas? Got a lot going for it. The, back, the restrooms could use a little renovation. Some of the sites out here, the, the asphalt pads could, could use a little refreshing. Uh, some of your sites, you gotta be, it's, it's like you ain't campground, you know. It's not perfect but it's way better than a parking lot. I gave in and we are at a, an RV resort. <laughs> I like the trails. The trails here, you, you've got your challenging ones on the uphill side and then you've got your uh, easier access down toward the river. So there's literally trails for everyone here. We just, we really like this campground. I think this is probably one of our favorites from this journey. And of course this, this rates very high on my list of Texas state parks, just because it's a, it's a great location. 
it's quiet. Of course, right now I don't have great lighting because it's, we've got this overcast thing going. But if you have not yet had, if you've not yet had the opportunity to vent to visit South Llano River, put it on your list. That's a good one, man. Now, the pigs here are an issue. So last night we had a herd of deer move in and bed down right back over here. And I came out to put away my chair and make sure the fire was out. And as I was turning away with my chair, I heard, I don't know, I, it, I'm not, I don't think it was Bigfoot, but it was grunting at me. So I think that there was some, there were some pigs <laughs> out here. Of course, that was after dark, and there wasn't much happening for us after dark. We were exhausted. We're, we're about to get on the road and <sighs> headed up to Canyon Lake today. Hopefully the clouds are going to clear off because we've got an eclipse happening on Saturday. We're done. Time to close it out and move on down the road. If you found some value out of this little video, I'd appreciate you clicking on that thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've not already, I would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That helps even more with that algorithm thing. For those of you who have already subscribed and are following the Dude RV Traveling Road Show, thank you. I really appreciate that. We're here because of y'all. Thank you. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?